The New York Knicks signed Jalen Brunson on July 12, 2022 to a four-year $104 million contract. He has been nothing short of amazing for this team. The Knicks have been desperately wanting to acquire a point guard for many years now, and Jalen Brunson became available from Dallas, and the Knicks swooped in and signed him. Now, many at the time thought Jalen Brunson was an overpay. A lot of Knicks fans thought Brunson was an overpay. I was even skeptical of them signing Brunson when free agency started. If you remember, the New York Knicks actually traded their first round pick to clear some more cap space to then sign Brunson. When that happened, many Knicks fans were confused. They didn't know what the next move was. Turns out it was going to be Brunson. Obviously, we have the Donovan Mitchell rumors to go along with that. But Jalen Brunson has been one of the best point guards that the New York Knicks have had in a while that the city has had in a while. Many think that he's the best point guard since Mark Jackson, Stephon Marbury, and the numbers back it up. Jalen Brunson is one of the best point guards in the NBA. In his last 10 games, Jalen Brunson is averaging 28.7 points per game, seven assists per game, 4.7 rebounds per game, shooting 47% from downtown, 50% field goal percentage, playing 38 minutes a game. I mean, guys, those those numbers right there are all-star numbers. He's playing absolutely out of his mind. He definitely should be considered as an all-star. In fact, during the fan votes that came down, Jalen Brunson wasn't even in the top 10. Granted, I know he was dealing with a hip injury, missed a few games, but then bounced right back, came back, and has been on fire ever since. Over the last four games, he's broke his career high two times. The game against the San Antonio Spurs, he dropped 38 points. That was a career high. Now, yes, he scored over 40 points in a playoff series, but they don't count those stats, unfortunately. And then against the Milwaukee Bucks, he dropped 44 points, seven rebounds, four assists. The game against the Indiana Pacers, 34 points, four assists, three rebounds, willed the Knicks to a victory. So ever since his return, Jalen Brunson has been on a tear. And let's just take a look at his contract. Four years, $104 million. Here are a list of point guards that are paid more than Jalen Brunson and have a bigger contract. You have D'Angelo Russell from Minnesota. Brunson is better than him. Chris Paul in Phoenix. I think right now Jalen Brunson is better than him. You have Ben Simmons that signed a massive contract extension, Darius Garland, Russell Westbrook in that absurd contract. So just looking at the landscape, Jalen Brunson is the 15th highest paid point guard in the NBA. To be honest, that's an underpay. Jalen Brunson should be well worth close to $200 million over a certain amount of years. The Dallas Mavericks really, in my opinion, dropped the ball when they did not re-sign Jalen Brunson. You have people in Dallas that are questioning that decision. Anytime you can grab a point guard with the annual value of at least $25 to $26 million a year that puts up the numbers that Jalen Brunson is putting up right now, you just have to swoop in and take it. And the New York Knicks, they did their due diligence. They surrounded him with people that he was familiar with. Obviously, you had the ties there with the front office. Knicks hired his dad in order to lock him in. The NBA was looking at this Knicks team for tampering, wind up saying that they did tamper. Not a big deal in my opinion, but he's been amazing for this Knicks team. And you can tell last season, the New York Knicks were a bad team. They were reeling. They needed a point guard. And you can see the difference that Jalen Brunson has made this season. Obviously, you've had the revelation of Julius Randle this season. R.J. Barrett has taken a step forward. He just takes the pressure off of Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett not to do too much. The pressure last season, you can tell it was waning on Julius Randle and he was forcing it a lot. But this season, you can tell Julius Randle is way more relaxed. And Jalen Brunson plays a huge role in that. But obviously us Knicks fans and I'm sure the Knicks front office are thrilled with the play from Jalen Brunson. Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett this season. Do they have this superstar on the team to take him to the next level? No, but right now as a Knicks fan, you can feel good that you have Jalen Brunson running the ship for the next four seasons at a pretty damn good price. It's hard to say that in this NBA with all the overpays that are happening right now. It's good that the New York Knicks finally have somebody that you can say is a legit point guard in this league, should be an all-star, and is an underpay. Once again, I'm Anthony, the creator of Knicks Nation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and peace. Peace.